Hi there, I'm Dr. Sugarcheck, and I'm here to take you on an incredible journey through the human body to learn all about diabetes. Are you ready for a sweet adventure? Great. Let's shrink down and dive into the bloodstream. Whoosh! Look at all these red blood cells zooming by. And see those little sugar molecules floating around. They're what give our body energy. But too much sugar can be a problem. That's where our friend insulin comes in. Insulin is like a special key that unlocks the doors of our cells, letting the sugar in. Let's watch it in action. See how the insulin key opens the cell door and the sugar goes inside? That's how it should work. But in diabetes, things get a little tricky. There are two main types, type 1 and type 2. In type 1 diabetes, the body doesn't make insulin keys at all. It's like the key factory is closed. So people with type 1 diabetes need to get insulin from injections or an insulin pump. It's like they're carrying spare keys with them all the time. Now, let's look at type 2 diabetes. The body still makes insulin keys, but there's a different problem. In type 2, the cell doors are stubborn and don't want to open easily. It's like the locks are rusty. Some people with type 2 diabetes can manage with special medicines that help the doors open more easily. Others might need to change their diet and exercise habits to help their body use insulin better. And sometimes, people with type 2 diabetes also need insulin, just like in type 1. Sulfonylureas. These stimulate the pancreas to release insulin. Examples include meglitinides. These also stimulate the pancreas to release insulin. Examples include biguanides. These decrease glucose production in the liver. Examples include thiazolidinediones. These increase insulin sensitivity. Examples include SGLT2 inhibitors. These block glucose reabsorption in the kidneys. Examples include, so how can you remember all these names? Here's a simple trick. Insulins. Think rice for rapid-acting, intermediate, cloudy, NPH, and long-acting. Oral medications. Think SMBTG for sulfonylureas, meglitinides, biguanides, thiazolidinediones, and SGLT2. Pharmacist. And there you have it. Diabetes medications made easy. Just remember rice and SMBTG, and you'll be a pro in no time. Some are immediate release, which means they work fast, while others are extended release and work slowly over time. Always remember to check before crushing or splitting a tablet, because some should never be broken. Now, let's move on to insulin types. There are two main kinds. One, short-acting insulins for meals and quick blood sugar spikes, such as regular insulin, Humulin R, Novelin R, and rapid-acting insulin, Lispro Humalog, Aspart Novolog, Glulacine Apidra. One, long-acting insulins for all-day blood sugar control, including Glargine, Lantus, Basaglar, Tugio, Datamir, Levamir, and Degludec, Traceba. It's important to know the normal blood sugar range too. The normal fasting blood sugar range is between 70, 100 mgdl, and after eating, it should stay below 140 mgdl. If someone's blood sugar drops below 70 mgdl, they may feel dizzy, shaky, sweaty, or confused. Here's what to do. 1. Give 15 grams of fast-acting sugar, like juice, glucose tablets, or candy. 1. Wait 15 minutes, then check the blood sugar again. 1. If still low, repeat the sugar intake and check again. 1. If the person is unconscious, use glucagon or call for emergency help. And remember, always follow up with a meal or snack to keep levels stable. Understanding these concepts makes managing diabetes much easier. It's super important for people with diabetes to keep their blood sugar levels in a healthy range. Too much or too little sugar can make you feel pretty yucky. That's why people with diabetes often check their blood sugar and take their medication. And that's the scoop on diabetes. Pretty sweet, huh?